Oh, I'm a lot more nervous to do this video than I usually am. <laughs> so as you might have noticed, there is a slightly different background behind me. The reason it is, is actually because I'm in a different flat. Welcome to my new kingdom of stagey isolation. Do not worry, the cushions are still here. I haven't yet worked out what my YouTube space is going to be, but I am working on making something exciting for you all. Do not worry. And as part of this change of location, there has been just so much change in my life for the past couple months, most of which has to do with a very big update that I'm here to tell you about today. So for most of the time that I've been on YouTube, it has just been me sitting in front of a camera talking about theatre, you know, reviewing shows, reacting to things, talking about news and rumours and gossip. And I don't tend to share much of my own personal life. I don't do a lot of everyday vlogging or taking my camera out with me places beyond talking for a couple minutes outside of some theatres. Like I've never been that kind of YouTuber who was going to give you a day in the life that kind of a vlogging experience, even though that's something I've always kind of wanted to do, but not really known how to. That might be about to change, and I might be about to share a little bit more of myself with you, because I recently met and started dating another YouTuber, another theatre person, whose name is Aaron James. Oh my god, hey! Wait, where am I looking? I can't look there, I need to look here. But my face is up there, and it's very distracting, and your face is up there, and that's very distracting. <laughs> if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe. I am obsessed with all things theatre. And if you're meeting Aaron for the first time, this is Aaron, my stage boyfriend. Hello! This is Aaron James. If you've been around on theatre YouTube for a while, for a long, long time, for years... <laughs> I'm not that old. And he makes me very, very happy. Like, ridiculously happy. We're on our way to our third press night of the, the week. week of a uh, third of five, and then more shows at the weekend. No! Okay, anyhow. We're just having a conversation. Um, the you speak both? Yeah. Okay. Anything goes tutorial. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, or show both. Um, we're just going through the musical themes. Shows, there's so many. So Aaron has been a theatre vlogger and influencer for a little while. He's actually someone that I followed and looked up to years ago before this was even something I had thought about doing. And we followed each other on social media for a little while and we've had mutual friends, but we didn't actually meet in person until a lot more recently. Now a few years ago, Aaron started working in PR, which in the theatre world, if you don't know, PRs do various different jobs when attached to a show or to a theatre or to an individual. Primarily their role with productions is to liaise with press and organise for press to come and see the show in order to review it. So Aaron is actually one of the first, if not the first PRs to ever invite me to go and review a show on press night. And it was the importance of being earnest at the Turbine Theatre, the transfer from the barn. This was pre-pandemic. This was like late 2019. And it meant so, so much to me. It was this really big milestone for me to get invited to go and review something. So we actually met in person for the first time when I went to go to the press night of Marry Me A Little at the Barn Theatre. And then again, when I saw another show at the Barn, Murder for Two. But we didn't get to really talk and probably get to know each other until we ended up chatting at a mutual friend's birthday party. And sparing you all of the gooey romantic details, it was just kind of one of those things where you effortlessly start talking to someone and can tell pretty quickly that there's a tangible and important connection between the two of you. And that was something that both of us picked up on pretty fast. It's me, Aaron James, and this is... Mickey J Theatre! <laughs> you didn't say, oh my god, hey. Oh my god, I, what, I'm going to say, and this is, oh my god, hey. Yeah. I have a name, Aaron. <laughs> when? <laughs> if you, okay, now you say this is Mickey J Theatre. <sighs> I prepared a script. <laughs> so today we're off to see what we're off to see. We're off to see, hold on. Oklahoma. It's not just Oklahoma, there's an exclamation mark. So it's Oklahoma. And so we're gonna watch this, then we're gonna go ahead and get food, and then what are we off to see? Arbor Voyage. Yes. In Stratford. Yes. London Stratford, not Stratford upon Avon. That would be weird, I should Abba at the RSC. Now I don't tell you all of this because I think it's super important you know all the details of my life. However, because Aaron is 
a theatre vlogger and because I like talking to him about theatre and sharing all of this with him and I enjoy his perspective on stuff, we've already started making a little bit of content together. And if you head over to his channel at Aaron James on YouTube, which is going to be linked in the description down below, uh, you can see some of the videos that we've already made together. There are two videos already on his channel of the both of us, one from the fan night of Bonnie and Clyde. Here's a good question. What have you noticed, because this is both of our second time seeing the show, what have you noticed this time that you didn't notice the first time round? Go on. Go on, tell us, tell us, tell us. I'll go first. So, I didn't notice that on the harmonies in Love Who You Love, that they swap harmony lines. You stand there and look pretty. That they swap harmony lines between the first and the second chorus. Because Francis does the top line on the first one, but Natalie does the top line on the second one. Very exciting to me. I'm like studying their mouths. Like, what lines are you doing? What about you? <laughs> and the other where the two of us are predicting the winners of this year's Tony Awards. Both of those videos were really fun to make. We had a great time doing them and putting them together. Go and watch those videos. Make sure you subscribe to his channel because there is going to be plenty more content from the both of us on his channel. And he will also be appearing on my channel. If you've been watching my recent videos carefully, he has already made an appearance. Hello, it's me, Aaron James, and this is... How do I delete this? I'm very confused. You can't get the YouTubing boyfriends nowadays. Wow. 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 You'd think it'd be experienced by now, but nope. Not on this. Oh, oh, oh. But isn't this like the fundamentals of YouTube? This all that and guess the boyfriend guesses this. Yep, I haven't done this before. I'm used to sitting by myself. I'm not accountable to anyone. I am a lone wolf. Oh. <laughs> so this is not really news. And if you've been following either of us on Instagram, which if not, why not? then you will also know all about this already. Now, something else I do want to clarify here because it does merit explanation. Aaron's job role is to liaise with reviewers like myself and to get them to come in and review productions he is working on. And I have, in this capacity, already reviewed productions that he is working on, both for myself here on YouTube, for my blog, and for whatsonstage.com. And I wanted to point out that while this may seem like a massive conflict of interest, you need only watch the Tony Award prediction video that we just made on his channel to realize that there is no way he can possibly convince me out of my opinion on something once I already have one. Literally, when I go and see a show that he is working on, I do not speak to him about the show the entire time until I have written the entire review. And even then, I will not tell him until it gets published what I actually thought of the show. Because integrity means an awful lot to me, and my integrity doesn't change for anyone, even if it's someone that I'm dating who is attached to the show. I will always tell you what I think honestly about a production, and that is never going to change. What did we just say? Abba voyage! Yeah, what did you think? My mind has been blown. I'm not even sure what I just saw. Abba's house. Abba. We saw Abba. Abba was there. Abba Both was versions there. of Abba. New and past and current. That's all I did. Oh. So good, and a, so much dancing. A technological marvel. There. Abba. You definitely want to see it. Like. But we've been having a really great time. We've been together now for a couple of months. We have been to a bunch of shows, like way too many shows. Like there's been a few weeks where we've been at five press nights in a row together. It has been hectic and mental and in many ways, everything that I always hoped that my life would be. Like there's been a lot of really exciting change. It's me, Aaron James, and this is... Mickey J Theatre. Sorry, you've got something <laughs> in your hair. That's what I've been distracted by. This. This. What was it? It was a little, it was from a tree. See, this is the thing, we're at the open air theatre, one of my favourite theatres in the world, kind of. But it does mean you have to watch out for birds, planes, and animals. I know we just said birds, but it, 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 there's a lot. We Skydivers. Have skydivers. And also, I absolutely need to point out that you may have noticed a little bit of a glow up in my recent YouTube presence as well. Now, right before I met Aaron, I was creeping towards 10k subscribers on YouTube. And as I sit here and film this video today, I have just passed 20k subscribers, which is insane to me. First of all, like these are numbers I always hoped to reach, but it was always very aspirational. I never thought that I realistically would, certainly not for a long time. I was actually anticipating reaching 10K subscribers middle of June. So for us to not be there yet and me to be double what I was a couple months ago is A, very exciting, and B, 
entirely down to Aaron James. Not only is he a social media genius, but he is also completely my target demographic and watches more theatre YouTube than anyone else I know. So all of his advice, all of his help has been so, so valuable and so, so welcome and annoyingly accurate. Like there's been multiple occasions where he said, oh, you should do a video on this. And I've been like, mm, I don't think people really care about that. And then bam, literally 100,000 views, which now annoyingly means I have to make literally every video he ever tells me to. So this has just been a quick little update from me and very much to say, make sure you are subscribed to his channel. I'm gonna be in a lot of content over there. He is gonna be in a lot of content on here. And we're really excited to bring you a lot of stagey videos together. As a general plan, I'm gonna keep it very theater specific on my channel here. And we're planning to do more lifestyle based videos over on his channel. So let us both know if there's anything specific that you would like to see. Thank you so much for listening and for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed for all of the stagey content that's coming very soon. Head over to Aaron James's page on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to him as well. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day.